Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to make a custom shirt. And that's what we have underneath the jacket right there. So let's see how that's done. Let's switch back over to the online Roblox. Here we go. Now the first thing to do here is to go over here to avatar. Click on that. Get into our avatar. There we go. And let's just hide that hoodie. And there's the shirt. So making a custom shirt. This one's blue. We'll choose a different color for that shirt. And you need a few things for this. You need the template. You need some artwork for the shirt. And if you want to, you can put in some wrinkles and some textured stuff. So let's first start off by taking a look and finding a texture. And let's just do a search here on Pixabay. Everything here is for free. This changes to illustrations. Not a search here for fabric texture. We'll find something on the first page here. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. And a brighter blue is kind of fun. I like that color. I won't go real far on this. Let's just grab something right on this first page. Now, one thing to keep in mind with the textures is that if you're wearing a jacket or a hoodie or something, you're only going to be seeing just a little thin strip of that. So if you're not wearing anything outside the shirt, you want to have a better pattern. If you are wearing something outside, then just a real simple color is really all you need. So we'll do a simple color on this, but it's the exact same technique either way. So we'll take this one right here, click on this, and then download. Now we're using small images, so a real small image is fine here, and just choose download. Now I made a folder on my hard drive, I just named it Roblox. Just to put stuff, I'll just put this right inside here. Choose save. Okay, that's all we need to do here. We now need the templates. And the easy way to get that is just to go to my website, which is right here. I'll put the link in the description, HDG George. And then go over here, click on Roblox downloads. And here we go. I have a few things in here for Halloween for t-shirts. If you want to have one of these things, just right click on that and save image as and save it to your hard drive. But let's keep on scrolling down past that Halloween stuff. And here's my templates. We want this one right here. This is just some texture or wrinkles for the shirt. Right click on this, save image as, and I'll save it back into our same folder. Choose save. Here we go. Here's the one I'm wearing in the sample when you saw it at the beginning. If you want to use that, you can save that one. And here's the artwork for that one, just in case. And then down here, here is the template. Let's right click on this and save as, and we'll save that template. I'll show you where you can get this from Roblox as well if you want to go right from Roblox. This is just a bit easier right here. Okay, so we have our files. Let's now go over to my desktop. And here we go. There's our texture file. There's our wrinkles and stuff right here. And here's the template. Now we'll be editing the template in an online program. You can use anything you want to edit this. If you have Photoshop, that's perfect. I like Photoshop Elements. Anything else is fine. You can use the cheap stuff like Paint.net. But we'll do this online. You bring up that program. We'll be using Pixel Art, pixelart.com, and come down here to the photo editor. Now you can come in here and get an account for this. Their cheap one is at 99 cents a month. It's really cheap, but for free, you can get three downloads per day. That's all we need. We only need just one, so that's fine. Click on open image. Let's take our template right here, choose open. Here's the template. Comes in as a background layer over here. Now I want to duplicate this to make a copy of this one. Let's click on the duplicate button right there, and let's click on the lock there and hide that one. That one's just a safety in case we mess up, we can go back to that. So here's our copy. And here we need to cut out all this stuff in here. So I'll zoom in, it's nice and large. Hold the space bar down, you can move your image around like that. Over here, left hand side, grab this little marquee tool right here and come just inside of the top right there and pull it down here to just right against the edge like that. So you're just making that section. Hit the delete key on your keyboard and that cuts that out. That's just the clear in behind. Let's do that for all of these sections. This green one right over here. There we go. And the red, this part here, this is the shirt. This is the front of the shirt. That's the top, that's the neck area. And then I'll move this over here to the right. This is the back of the shirt. We're doing the same texture and pattern on all sides. It'll look just fine once that's done. And I'll move down over here. Same thing, this is the bottom of the shirt. Never actually see this part. Pull the space bar down. And then here is one arm over here. That's the left arm. And this is the right arm, right over here. And you see that this says F, L, B, and R. This is front, left, back, and right. And this is the left arm. So if you wanted to put, let's say, a logo on your arm, you want it on the left side and right up in here. If you want the logo for the right arm, let's go over here. That's the right arm on the R, and you put your logo right in there. That's all there is to it. Okay, for us, we're just going to cut these things out. Make sure you stay within that color and delete. So now I get these four over here. I'll do one arm at a time. This one, they kind of snap to the right spot. So it's pretty easy to do this. Just get real close. 
and it should just snap right to those locations. You can pull past it though, so be careful. As long as you're close, it'll snap right to the right spot. And let's get this one right here. And then where it says D down here, this is where the wrist goes. That's where the, the hand connects right in here. Let's put our texture right there as well. Okay, this side, these top squares up here, these are the top of the shoulders here and here. Okay, let's get all of these. And this works the same if you have a real blocky figure or if you have a figure with more of a shape to it. Like I'm having kind of an in-between shape on my character, on my avatar. It works the same either way. Let's try that one again here. So Roblox adjusts it to fit properly. Okay, and then the bottom right down here. And delete. Okay, I'll just use the scroll wheel to scroll back. So that's done. That's now empty. You can see it's empty. If I come down here to the bottom and show that again, we're now seeing this in behind that one. So that's an easy way to see where your areas are there. Okay, Control D just to deselect that. All right, let's now bring our texture in here. Go back up to File, come down to Open Image. Here's our texture and open. There it is. Now in here, use Control A to select the whole thing. Control C to copy. Let's go back over here to this file. Control V to paste. And then paste it in right down there below. Now you want to make sure that this thing stays put. Go over here and then right click on that copy and click on locked. That's now not going to move. So you can now work on this one. This is my texture is real large in here. I want a smaller texture. So I'm just going to take this file. I'll put it right about here. And I'll shrink this down. In about there. That's pretty good. That's a nice size for our texture. Click on the duplicate button. There's our copy. Let's drag that down here. I'll do one for this side like that. And then hit that duplicate button again. And let's grab that and put that over here. There it goes. There's our texture. It's a little low on that. I'll just use the arrow key to tap that up a touch. That looks good. And this is a little bit high. I'll tap that down just one touch. Okay. Now, if you want to put some more texture on this, that's easy to do. Over here to the top image layer, it's file, open. And that's this thing right here, shirt texture. Choose open. Same thing, control A to select it all, control C to copy. I can then close that down. Let's close that down. And then in here, control V, that paste it. And you can see that puts that texture on top. All I need to do now is just kind of line that up and that goes right up in here, just about like that. That's pretty good. You can change the size of this if you want to. Now I didn't do the bottom part down here because the hand covers that anyway. So I just did the other parts. Okay, that covers everything. Now I'm above this background copy, so I'll pull this underneath. And that's inside now. And there's our texture. So we have some wrinkles and stuff going on. That looks pretty good. Okay, now that we have this and we need to save this out. Let's go up here to File, come down to Save right there. And you want this down here at PNG with transparency on. That's on the right-hand side there. You want that transparency. And come down to Save As. I'll put it back inside the same location. Now make sure you give it a different name. I'll just call it Brown Canvas and choose Save. Notice I've used up two of my three daily saves. So I'm done. I only need just the one save here for this project. So we're done. Okay, let's now close this out and go back over to Roblox. And we're right here. So we have our shirt made. Now we need to get it into the game. And for that, go up here to Clothing. Come down to Classic and Classic Shirts right there. Click on that. And then go over here where it says Create. And there's a special trick on this one to make this so it's easy to do. And you don't get set into the wrong direction. Make sure you right click on this and open link in new tab. Very important. That leaves this page sitting here. Let's go over here and this opens up the creator hub. We want to go here to the avatar items, go into classics. We want to come down here to classic shirts. And we're going to be uploading here from classic shirts right in here. Let me show you right now where we can get the template for this if you don't want to download it from my website. Go up here to learn, come down to avatar. And then left-hand side where it says clothing, come down to classic clothing right there. And then here, scroll down. It's a template for the shirt. And here's a template for the pants and the top. I'll be showing you how to do this in a later video. The reason why it has a top and a bottom is in case you want to have coveralls, you can do that this way as well. And down here are the different sizes for these different parts. Easy way is just to come down here and do download and unzip. This gives you all the templates right there. Okay, or just take it off of my website. That's the easier way. Okay, let's go back here to Dashboard, Avatar Items, and Classics, and Classic Shirts. Let's upload our image. Click on Upload right here. There it is. That's the one. Choose Open. Give it a name. It takes the file name if you haven't given it a name. You can give it a description if you want to here. I'll call it Brown Canvas Shirt. You can do a real long description if you want to with 1,000 characters. You can up to 50 characters for the name, so you can do a lot in there. Now, doing a shirt does cost Robux. 
It's just 10, so it's only about 10 cents. It's not that much, but it does cost a little bit in there. If you don't have Robux, you can spend just five bucks and have 480 Robux and last you a long time if you're just doing your own custom stuff. Okay, click on that, upload, avatar items, back to classics, back to shirts, and you should see it here pretty fast. There we go. There's that new shirt. Looks pretty good. It's a good color in there. Nice brown color. Has some nice texture on that. Okay, let's go ahead and see how this looks. Now, here's why I said to open this up by doing the right click. So you can go back over here real easy. Otherwise, you have to go over here, just do back up a whole lot or just reload Robux online. So if you did the create with the right click, that makes it really easy to just have these as separate tabs. Okay, here we are. Now you'll have to come in here and refresh this page. So hit refresh. There's our brown canvas shirt. Click on that. Reloads the image and there it is. That's looking pretty good. Let's see if that looks underneath the hoodie. Here we go, nice brown under the hoodie. Here's a black leather jacket. Let's try this one. There you go, looks good in there as well. I think I'll go with the hoodie for right now. And there it is. That's how to upload a shirt. If you want to upload and sell things, I'll be doing a video about that in just a little bit. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. I'll be doing more Creative Roblox videos here real soon. So make sure you get that subscription in there so you don't miss any of those videos. And I'll see you next time.